I'm uh, Dr. Samir Kapadia from uh, Cleveland Clinic. I'm the chairman of cardiology and cardiovascular medicine department. And uh, I'm also the PI for the protected tower trial. So when we started tower to replace the aortic valve, the first editorial by Dr. Schaff was to say that one of the most important things that we need to accomplish is to prevent stroke from happening when we do this procedure. So in the last 10 years, uh, we have been able to accomplish this for the first time where we are testing this particular device to see if we can clinically meaningful way reduce the stroke. So this is a very important trial. And this is the largest trial in the structural world uh, of Tower, where there are 3,000 patients randomized during pandemic. So Sentinel system is a six French system that is delivered through the right radial artery, and it protects the right innominate and the right carotid artery. So when you protect the right innominate, you protect the right carotid, right vertebral, and the left carotid artery. The only artery that it does not protect by the filter system is the left vertebral artery. And it is introduced, as I said, from the right radial artery. So it is extremely accessible and safe procedure. So the study design is uh, fairly straightforward that we wanted to enroll all patients undergoing commercial tower with any valve, any risk profile. So low intermediate high risk patients or balloon expandable or self-expanding valves, every patient was randomized to either have Sentinel or no Sentinel. And we designed the study with 3,000 patients, 1,500 in each group. Interim analysis was designed to be performed at 2,100 patients. And the decision was made to continue with the 3,000 patient trial at the interim analysis. So in the Sentinel trial, we saw that the total stroke rate was 2.3% in the Sentinel group versus control group was 2.9%. And this was statistically not significantly different, but the confidence interval would suggest that this is not ruling out the benefits of the Sentinel device. On the other hand, the disabling stroke was 0.5% in the Sentinel group and 1.3% in the control arm. And this difference was statistically significantly different with a p-value of 0.02. This is important information for the patients and physicians to learn that clinically relevant disabling strokes were observed to be less with the central device use. So the most important challenge during this trial was that we started the trial during the pandemic and completed the trial during the pandemic. So to start all the sites remotely, to follow up the patients adequately. So this is a very practical study. So we tried to keep the endpoint 72 hours and only patients with stroke we followed at 30 days. And luckily we could have an excellent follow-up of these uh, patients. But this is the most important logistic challenge uh, of the trial. Uh, the second uh, potential problem with the trial or potential challenge with the trial was that the device was commercially available. So it is possible that people would use the device in a high risk or what they consider high risk patients and not consecutive patients are randomized. So the trial would be biased against uh, the device in some ways if people are pre-selecting the patients who are considered high risk for the trial and use a central device, commercially available central device. So this was a little bit of a challenge to make sure that consecutive patients are enrolled in the trial during the trial design. So the practice of TOWER, the most important question for physicians and the patient is to see that how important is the stroke to the patient. And as you know, most patients do not want to have stroke. They are less afraid of death, but more afraid of stroke and especially the disabling stroke. So this trial informs the operators to say that the disabling stroke was reduced by the use of Sentinel device and the Sentinel device is safe to use. So with these two information, they can decide whether they want to utilize this device in their practice. But at least in our practice at Cleveland Clinic, we have been using Sentinel device in all patients. So this Sentinel device uh, obviously covers three of the four arteries. Uh, so there are several newer devices uh, and even the newer versions of Sentinel that could have coverage for all this cerebral protection complete cerebral protection. 
So it will be very important for the future trials to try to understand if we can even improve on this particular goal and prevent even the strokes that were not preventable by, by Sentinel device. So the newer devices uh, would be very important to understand we could not find in this particular trial any particular patient subgroup that requires the Sentinel device more than the others in the sense that the stroke was too much higher uh, in that particular subgroup and or Sentinel device was more effective uh, in that particular subgroup. So the one of the future trials could be to say that if we can still identify uh, the right device and right strategy for an individualized patient currently, with this data, we would, we would interpret the data as saying that the stroke is unpredictable and we would use the central or cerebral emboli protection device in all patients to prevent the stroke. 